Here's the sun, and he's pretty great. He keeps us warm, he provides us with life, and he's pretty good at ping pong. But where do stars come from, hmm? Well, it all starts with these awesome looking things called nebulas, which are giant clouds of gas. But just how exactly do stars come from these nebulas? Let me explain. Okay, so you got nebulas, which break off into clumps, and then those clumps turn into fragments, and then those fragments turn into protostars, and then protostars eventually become regular stars. Let's call this guy Jeremy. Now, Jeremy is much larger than our sun, about eight times bigger, in fact. And uh, while our sun will eventually become a white dwarf, Jeremy's death is going to be much more dramatic. He's going to run out of hydrogen, he's going to have to start fusing helium, and that's going to cause him to turn into a red giant. There's just this huge, gigantic sun... And, and if you look at an, uh, an HR diagram, that's right around this area. Uh, but then, eventually, bada-boom, he's gonna explode in a supernova, which looks so much cooler than what I've drawn here. And after a while, that's gonna become a black hole, which just sucks everything into it, even light. And, and, and no one knows where it goes. Maybe some other universe. I don't know. But that's how he dies.